Hello! This video focuses on editing your pages. So if you've already watched the video about how to add pages, then you should know how to add a page at this point. And I'm going to show you how to add content to your pages. So I'm going to go to the page that I added in the last video, which is Heritage Club. So Mrs. Beck, feel free to get on here um, at your leisure. I'm going to leave this on here for you. It's already ready, um, but feel free to edit anything that I put on here. <laughs> So um, I'm just going to show you how to add the different elements to the pages, what your options are. So this item that is that I'm moving right now in the middle of the page, this was an item that was just there because we chose a template. Um, but let's say that we didn't choose a template. So I'm going to hit delete. We didn't choose a template. We chose a blank page. So we, w we already went ahead and you know, went to a different page that says high school. We selected these by clicking on the first one, holding down the control key, clicking on the second one, and then we hit our copy icon, and then we went to our Heritage Club page, and then we hit the paste icon. So that's how we got this on there. Um, and again, I'm just pretending like you don't have a template, you have a blank page. And here's how you add your elements. So over here on the left, um, and like I said earlier, you don't need any of the rest of these buttons. Pretty much all you need is the pages and the plus. So when I click on the plus sign, here's all my options of things that I can add. Not a huge long list, but um, we have a few things that we can add. So the first thing that we might want to add is a title. So when I click on text, I can go and click on title or paragraph. And really to me, it doesn't matter which one you use. Um, because you can make the paragraph do whatever you want and you can make the title do whatever you want. But I'm going to click on title and I'm going to use my little ruler, my boundary thing to make sure I'm in the center. So now I'm in the center. I'm going to double click inside here, select all of my text. I'm going to go ahead and move it to the center. Seneca High School Heritage Club. And I'm going to bold all of it. I'm going to make it a size 20. Make this a size 30. Actually, I'm going to change that to 15. Not that any of this matters. But I'm going to change that to blue. And I'm going to change this to red. So now I've got a nice little title for my page. Now I can click the little plus sign and I can add a paragraph. So I'm not going to actually put any content on here, but you can put your content here, you can move it on the, over on the left, whatever you want to do. So you get to make your page but however you want to make it. So if all you want is just to put a title at the top and then you want this to eventually just be a big long list of items, then you can do that. So whatever you want to do, it's really up to you. I'm going to hit undo. Okay. Um, so here's my content of my page. Let's say I want to add a picture. So I'm going to hit the add button. And then here's my options for pictures. You can add just a single image or you can add a gallery. A gallery is going to be things like these. Um, a slideshow. Um, that would be here. Thumbnails. A strip slideshow, which I do not recommend because strip means that it stretches all the way across the entire page. Same thing with the strip showcase. The accordion, it's okay if you want to use it, but you can just kind of play with these and you can, you know, you can use whatever works for you and you can put them on there and, and see what they do. But I'm going to click the slideshow for now because these, these are things that seem to be popular and people like to use them. So if I want to have multiple pi pictures on this page, I can do it this way or I can just, when I click on add, I can click image and then I can have like image 1, image 2, image 3, image 4. So you can set it up however you want. Some people like to have the slideshow. When you have an element, um, you can move it anywhere you want. You can resize it. So if I want this to be bigger, I can make it bigger. And to, to edit the pages, you just the pictures, you double click on it. And depending how quick your browser is, sometimes it takes a while for this to come up. And sometimes it slows your computer down. So don't freak out if it does that. But I would just delete all these pictures because I don't need them. And then I'm going to add the pictures that I want. So I'm going to click Add Images. 
And then this is important to know for any time you add a picture anywhere on the website. So if you're adding a staff member photo, if you're adding like this was an update for the slideshow on the district homepage. So it was just a little picture that I added to the slideshow just so that it could act as an announcement. Um, any and all pictures that have been uploaded are going to show up here. This is basically the most recent pictures. So what you're looking at is all media and then this, this is the most recent. You have these little tabs up here, free from Wix. So there's all these different categories over here and all these different pictures. These are all free and some of them are really cool. So if you are needing something, um, you know, some sort of icon or something like that, then you can pull anything from here. So you can, you can either go to Google, save it to your computer and then upload, which I'm going to show you how to do here in just a second, or you can use their stock photos. So whatever you want, whatever works for you. The BG stock images, um, I think these are free. I'm not really sure that you might have to pay for these. Um, but anyways, your other options are to get pictures from Facebook, whatever that icon is, Instagram, and then whatever that icon is, but I've never done that. So anyways, in the my images tab, these are all the pictures that I have uploaded. So for example, all the teachers that have given me their alma maters, if you click on the alma maters tab, here's all the alma maters. So my suggestion to you is, and if you don't like the way these are named, you can rename them. I think you just click settings, yeah, and then rename. So if there's something on there and it doesn't make sense to you, uh, but you know what's in the folder, then go ahead and change it. You won't hurt my feelings. But these are just different, it's just folders over here. So every single image that I've ever uploaded is, it's all going to be right here in the all media. But if you don't want to try to look through all this stuff to find something that you added a couple weeks ago, then you can just go directly to whatever you need. So like this is the district front page. So the images that are on the slideshow on the district front page, some of them are here, not all of them are there. Some of them are duplicated, so some of them are actually in here, in the high school page. So they're like, there's my FBLA kids. They're on the district homepage, but they're also at the high school. So I think I have all the schools represented on here, and some of these I have random folders, you know, with pictures that haven't been uploaded in them yet, or I changed the folder to something else. So anyways, that's all that is, is folders. So when if you want to put a picture into a folder, before you hit upload, go to the page that you want to upload it for. So for example, if I want to upload something for the early childhood page, I'll click on early childhood. Now I'll go and upload my image. I'm just going to upload something totally random. Okay, that'll work. That's fine. It's just a random picture. So then I'm going to click on it. It's going to put it in here. And then I'm going to add that image to my slideshow because that's what we were doing. We were adding images to our slideshow. And I'm going to name it over here because this is the name that's going to show up with the slideshow. So I'm going to say wanted poster created by Ellie. I don't know whoever. And then you can have a longer description here if you want to link that image to something. So if there's a story somewhere else or a YouTube video, whatever, that's how you do that. So now when I click done, I'm just going to have one picture in my slideshow. And then there's my little description. And I haven't quite figured out how to get this Maybe that makes it a little bigger. Um, I haven't quite figured out how to get this space bigger for when you have longer descriptions. So I would suggest making shorter descriptions unless you can figure out how to do that. So when we double click it, it took us into the editor. So this is how I can add pictures to my page. If you want to change the settings, for example, when I hit preview, I'm looking at this page and my slideshow hasn't started. Well, one, there's only one picture, but also the reason it's not starting is because I need to change the settings. So if you click on it once instead of the double click, you can hit settings and then I can come over here and change the settings. So the image scaling, there's different ways that you can do it. You can tell it to fit to width. So then your slideshow is going to like change sizes based on the size of the picture, which I don't recommend or crop. And it's going to crop your pictures to fit into this area, which I also don't recommend because it cuts people's heads off. Or you can hit center. So it'll completely center your image, and that way it doesn't matter what your image sizes are. They'll all fit in there. So that's the option that I recommend. However, it's not the default. Okay, the default is crop. 
So anytime you're making a slideshow, I would always suggest that you, again, don't double click, but you single click it, hit settings, and then come in here and change that to center. Um, down here, the transitions, you can play with those, so you can tell it what you want it to do. It's kind of like PowerPoint. And then autoplay is how you get it to just automatically start playing whenever somebody opens that page. So they don't have to click on it. They don't have to click on these buttons to navigate through it. It'll just automatically start playing. Your options down here are um, when the image is clicked, what do you want them to be able to do? Do you want them to use the navigation button? So you do want them to be able to click through them manually on their own. Um, do you want it to do nothing when they click on the picture? Do you want it, the, it to enter expanded mode where it'll show up big on their screen? Or do you want it to go to a link? So you want, do you want that picture to take them somewhere? So those are your different options with that. Um, and then now that it's on autoplay, I'm going to change it to three seconds. Actually, I'm going to change it to 2.5 apparently. Um, and I'm going to exit out. I'm actually going to go back in here and just add an image really quick so that we can actually see it, see what it does. So I'm just going to pick a random picture and then I'm not going to name it or anything like that. I'm just going to click done and then now let's preview and watch how it auto plays. So see how every 2.5 seconds it's going to rotate back and forth between the two. So that's how you add a gallery. If you just want to add a picture, then click Add Image. Probably should have gone over this first. Some of you are probably thinking, I don't want to add a video yet. I just want a picture. Sorry, I should have done that in order. <laughs> but when you add a picture, here's your options. I always, always, always click Image without a frame. Because if you click Image, then it's going to put a frame on it, and then you're not going to probably want that frame. So I would always click this one. You can play with the frames and see if you like any of them, but the safe bet is just to click Image Without Frame. You can look at their clip art if you want to. I haven't done it. But click Image Without Frame, and again, we're here in this image window. So there's that wanted poster that I just uploaded a minute ago because these are all the recents. But if you know that there's a picture that you want to use, so let's say I want to go to logos and in logos I have all the um, like the sports and the organizations and some of my things aren't in folders some of like there was a there was a lag between me uploading pictures in the beginning and not really knowing what I was doing and then actually figuring out the system so some of the logos aren't in here um, but I could quickly go and find what I need so I don't have a logo oh I do have a logo for Heritage Club yay so I'll click Heritage Club I'll click add and then I'm just going to put this picture on here for her. So maybe she wants the text down here and she wants this to go right there or whatever. Maybe she wants it over here. Who knows? And uh, you'll notice that this picture, it actually has a white background. So like if I put it up here, it has a white background. It looks really awkward. Um, if you need me to ever edit a picture for you to take away that white background, just let me know because I can do it super quick and then I'll send it back to you. Um, but sometimes this system, uh, the Wix website, doesn't even like to recognize my pictures when I do that. For example, this Indian head up here, it would look really awkward if it had a white background. Um, but anyways, if you need me to fix that, I can fix that for you. But the page, the uh, all the pages have a white background here. Um, and I did that for that reason, so that you didn't have to worry about that. So that's how we add elements. The only other thing that I can think of that you may want to add, I mean, there's all different kinds of, of things on here. There's shapes. So if you want to add a shape, you can add a shape. There's buttons. So if you want to add a button, like I have, a, well, this is a navigation bar, but like on the home page where there's all those little quick links, all that is is a button, and then I've resized it. So I've resized all those quick links to about that size, and then I've stacked them on top of each other to look like a big long list. Um, so that's how you do that. The only other thing that I can think of is if you need to hyperlink something. So like, for example, um, Seneca Heritage Club, she, th this is her new page now. So if I actually go back to the, we have a Seneca High School and the Junior High has this too, Clubs and Organizations page, I can click on Clubs and Organizations. Now I can go find Heritage Club, and this is actually a list that's not those aren't text boxes this is actually a list so it's a little different but now I can hyperlink Heritage Club to the actual page so 
I will go over hyperlinks in a separate video because I am out of time. <laughs>